Welcome everyone, I'm Deronda with Foods 101 and today I'm showing you how to steam cauliflower. Now at my supermarket earlier, I found this fabulous head of cauliflower. It was surrounded by these beautiful emerald green leaves and I pulled back the leaves and look what I found underneath. Just the traditional white cauliflower. Now cauliflower comes in many other colors such as brown and yellow and purple, but the traditional cauliflower is white. Now, to pick a cauliflower, you want your florets very tight. When you push on them, you don't want them giving in on you when you use your thumb just to push in on the florets. You don't want any colorations, like you don't want any brown spots or yellow spots here on your beautiful white cauliflower. And cauliflower is more or less considered a superfood. Very healthy for you. It's high in vitamin C, vitamin B6s. Um, it's got great make magnesium and potassium and it's very very super low super low in fat you can substitute this for either rice or potatoes you can eat it either raw cooked or pickled and like today i'm showing you how to steam it now to steam it and if you just pull back these leaves to cut it you're going to get as close to the floret as you can as you can see and just cut off as much as you're going to steam and I'm steaming for two, so look how beautiful and lovely that is. And I've got a pot over here on the oven top with about an inch of water in it. And I'm going to bring it to a boil. Now, if your florets are too large, you can go ahead and cut them and just pull it apart. So you've got these bite-sized pieces. If you want to continue cutting it down, you may just like that and looky there oh my gosh it's going to be absolutely fantastic but the greatest part is it's going to be so healthy for you the cauliflower you're not using for today you just want to wrap it up stick it back in the refrigerator but keep it intact don't cut it off till you're ready to use you want to make sure that you invest in a lovely steamer such as this it's only five or six dollars you can pick it up at your local supermarket or you could pick it up at any retail shop you're just going to open it. Now, I've rinsed my cruciferous vegetables under fresh, clean, running water. Cruciferous, meaning cauliflower, is a part of that family. And you're going to place your florets around like this. And now over here into its steaming bath. Steam your cauliflower on medium-high heat for the next seven minutes. The more you steam your cauliflower, the more nutritional value you lose. And it's a known fact that if you steam it for more than 30 minutes, it loses 75% of its nutritional value. So, seven minutes on this cauliflower, and I'll be back to show you what it's going to taste like. Be sure you use a tight-fitting lid. Seven minutes are up, and look how lovely and beautiful. Woo! that lovely cauliflower is. Now, I'm going to try it and let you know what it tastes like. Use your timer. It will ensure the best cooking time. Given our lovely cauliflower a try, look, it's just beautifully steamed and it just falls apart. Now, if you want to add a little sodium to it, a little salt, you may, but you always want to taste your vegetables first because you really may not need it. So, here goes. Mmm. Oh, mercy. This is absolutely fantastic. Even tastes like a superfood. Doesn't need any sodium. Leave it out. Go sodium free and stay healthier. Hey y'all, I'm Dorana with Foods 101. Thanks for watching. Give me thumbs up, leave me a comment, and I'll catch you next time. Super low in fat. You can substitute this for either rice or potatoes. You can eat it either raw, cooked, or pickled. And like today, I'm showing you how to steam it. Now, to steam it, and if you just pull back these leaves, to cut it, you're going to get as close to the floret as you can, as you can see. And just cut off as much as you're going to steam. And I'm steaming for two. So look how beautiful and lovely that is. And I've got a pot over here on the oven top with about an inch of water in it. And I'm going to bring it to a boil. Now, if your florets are too large, you can go ahead and cut them and just pull it apart. So you've got these bite-sized pieces. If you want to continue cutting it down, you may. 
just like that and looky there oh my gosh it's gonna be absolutely fantastic but the greatest part is it's gonna be so healthy for you the cauliflower you're not using for today you just want to wrap it up stick it back in the refrigerator but keep it intact don't cut it off till you're ready to use you want to make sure that you invest in a lovely steamer such as this it's only five or six dollars you can pick it up at your local supermarket or you could pick it up at any retail shop you're just going to open it now i've rinsed my cruciferous vegetables under fresh clean running water cruciferous meaning cauliflower is a part of that family and you're going to place your florets around like this and now over here into its steaming bath steam your cauliflower on medium high heat for the next seven minutes the more you steam your cauliflower the more nutritional value you lose and it's a known fact that if you steam it for more than 30 minutes, it loses 75% of its nutritional value. So seven minutes on this cauliflower, and I'll be back to show you what it's gonna taste like. Be sure you use a tight fitting lid. Seven minutes are up, and look how lovely and beautiful, woo, that lovely cauliflower is. Now, I'm gonna try it and let you know what it tastes like. Use your timer, it will ensure the best cooking time. Giving our lovely cauliflower a try. Look, it's just beautifully steamed and it just falls apart. Now, if you wanna add a little sodium to it, a little salt, you may, but you always wanna taste your vegetables first because you really may not need it. So here goes. Mmm, oh mercy. This is absolutely fantastic. Even tastes like a superfood doesn't need any sodium leave it out go sodium free and stay healthier hey y'all i'm Dorana with foods 101 thanks for watching give me thumbs up leave me a comment and i'll